Hello there guys and welcome back to Nerd Kingdom. So I thought I would share what I've been reading during this lockdown period. Now if this is not for you, don't worry, there is another the D D video coming soon. Well, that video is gonna be coming in maybe a day or two. Um so it won't be long to wait for that in the slightest. If you guys are still interested and still tuning in, then let's just jump straight in. So over the course of lockdown, I've had the opportunity to read some fantastic books and more books than I thought I would get around to. Started these two books. As you can see, this is the first uh, Game of Thrones book. It is absolutely huge. It's also the illustrated version. So it has these amazing, amazing illustrations all throughout the book. It is an awesome, awesome edition. So I finished off reading the first Game of Thrones. I had about a third left of this. So um, I'm excited to see the others and to see where the paths diverge and to see what the TV show had to leave out. Um, but I've just finished the first one and a uh, big fan of that one. Uh, I've also, as you can see here, I've been reading the Witcher series. This is the second book of short stories for the Witcher uh, called The Sword of Destiny. And is just it was just a lot of fun. It was an absolute blast to go through and to read. Again, I didn't have much left of this book when I first started reading it. So uh, I just flew through this as soon as uh, as soon as I had the opportunity to do so during lockdown. I then kind of um, splashed about a little bit, deciding what to read next. And uh, I decided to go for uh, Frank Herbert's Dune. This was the first book that I sat down and read fresh during lockdown. started this one, I'd heard a lot about it, and it had been something that had been on my shelf for a long time. And I heard about Dune and how much it had inspired people. This idea of like this desert planet and um, I expected there to be a lot more action and a lot more sort of combat and action orientated. But that is not the kind of book that this is. This is one that's definitely focused on character and focused on thought and just the human condition and all that kind of good stuff. And it is absolutely wonderful. I really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, it's quite a chonker. It's, I believe it's over 500 pages. Yeah, it's coming up to 600 pages. So it's quite a big book. Uh, it's not one you can just sit down and read in an evening, but it's definitely a great, great read that I highly recommend. So as soon as I finished this, I was super excited because this is the book that inspired a lot of Star Wars. This is the book that has inspired a lot of sci-fi and just the sci-fi as we know it now, a lot of it comes back to this fantastic book. Um, so I was super excited and I basically went on a Dune uh, reading binge where I read... Uh, Dune Messiah, which is the second book, which I got to say uh, was not as good as the first book. Uh, the Children of Dune, which I really liked, and The God Emperor of Dune, which is, um, and yes, it bugs me that these are different covers too and different sizes. It drives me insane. This, the, the first three books kind of acts as a trilogy, and then this fourth book kind of acts as like a pivot point where the story takes a completely different turn for the last two books that Frank Herbert wrote. Oh man, I mean, I really, I've enjoyed the series so far, but it's nowhere near as good as the first book, in my opinion. I felt like the first book was far more interesting and far better than the series has been. So I've sort of decided to take a little bit of a break after the fourth book before getting on to the fifth and sixth. In that time, of course, I have, I mean, I'd started reading... The Witcher, and you guys know if you've seen this channel, I'm a big fan of The Witcher. Um, so I decided that I was going to, as I was reading Dune, kind of mix and match it and have a little bit of sci fi and a little bit of fantasy all in one. Now, I went ahead and I basically binged The Witcher books, which are super bingeable. I, uh, I jumped straight into The Blood of Elves, which these books are, they're super small. Um, small novels, jumped straight into The Blood of Elves, Time of Contempt, Baptism of Fire, Tower of the Swallow, and the Lady of the Lake. And that is the, the main series of the Witcher books then. So I just dived straight into those and devoured them. But it's just so readable. Andrei Sapolsky's writing, his style of writing, the stories, the characters that he makes. I mean, if you're a fan of the games, you will love love the books they are so good they're so well written they're so interesting and uh, i mean dandelion is still my favorite character he's so funny so i read those and uh, i then got round to the season of the storms 
I hear a lot of people saying that you should read this like in between the short story books. Um, I ended up not doing that. I ended up reading this after the entire series because the epilogue in this actually has some spoilers for the main five books which I just showed you. Um, so I decided to like leave this until last. I'm really, really glad I did. Uh, this is a fantastic, fantastic book. Um, I really enjoyed this one actually, uh, probably more than some of the short story ones. So the books I'm currently reading are The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I am only about uh, 160 pages into this book, but I'm really enjoying it actually. Um, there are parts of it that I'm finding quite slow, there are parts of it that I'm really uh, like immersed in. So yeah, I'm not sure if it's because I'm reading these two giant fantasy books at the same time or sort of what, but uh, I'm, I'm finding The Name of the Wind to be a lot slower than The Legend of Drift. Now, if you guys are a fan of D&D, like of course this channel is, of course I am, then, um, I mean, these are like must-reads. Firstly, these are the 25th anniversary editions of the book, but The Legend of Drift books they're kind of they're fast paced like like the witcher is so they're like a perfect follow-up from the witcher they're like action orientated they're character orientated they're a lot of fun they're really easy to read but all three books there's like the first three books so homeland exile and sojourn uh they kind of go together to make a trilogy which is what this book is compiled in so i've read the first legend of drist book which is um homeland and i'm currently i'm i think i'm over halfway through the second one but i'm absolutely adoring uh this series at the moment and i can't wait to finish it off and take a closer look at this series as a whole so yeah i mean i'll uh i'll hopefully give you another update on sort of how i found these series and if i read other things that i think you guys will be interested in or maybe i'll do another video talking a little bit more in depth about dune and about some of the other books in that I've been reading and The Witcher and, and that kind of thing, just to give you guys a bit more of a review on what I think of them. Um, because this is just taking a look at just the whole array that I've been reading over the course of over the course of lockdown. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. And uh, I'd be excited to know what you guys are reading or if you think I should read something next.